Let's go ahead and evolve something that should never ever exist. Normally you have something like the Guardian, three different weapons upgradable four times. We're gonna do what I've never done before and focus, but you can upgrade its single weapon four times. Then we probably need another perk slot that's very expensive. Aside from that, probably just a lot of damage. Or let's uh, stop our thing from overheating quite so much. Let's also do an hourglass. 50% damage, 50% knockback, we lose 50% fire rate, so we're gonna need a quick firing weapon. Now it's just a matter of what we want to evolve our single gun into. We can add all sorts of different things. Right now it's a single pistol, which is definitely serviceable. It's not that accurate, but it is hitting really, really hard for where we're at. It's absolutely one-shotting everything as it should. 30% of fire rate would have been good, but we don't have the right type of weapon for that. Right now we'll take 20% fire rate and 40% knockback. That will fit on any weapon. I'm actually going to lock that because fire rate's going to be big for whatever we use. Uh, speaking of which, I'm going to unlock another weapon slot and also another upgrade slot. So more fire rate means we'll overheat faster, but getting more shots out there will be very important for us. Might need a little more accuracy because this thing <laughs> does not shoot straight. Things are getting a little close. Luckily we do have that knockback, so we'll pick and choose what we want to kill first as we miss what we need to do hit but we're okay i don't think anything is actually going to touch us we're about to overheat we're okay after all that we still can't really afford anything i don't know if i'm going to lock that anymore the extra fire rate's nice i don't know what purple is it's not pistol or shotgun that might be smg and that might be a good thing to add to our current gun critical chance would also be nice we're gonna have that fire rate sitting there and if we kill more pink enemies i think that means we get a higher chance of pink upgrades so maybe i should be picking and choosing sort of what i kill even more than i already am well, this is one of the more annoying ways I've ever dealt with, simply because of the amount of those blue things that like to shoot at me from a moderate distance. I think we got this wave pretty much unlocked already, though. Health plus 8 after each wave survive without taking a hit. That's also nice. Damage plus 40%. We lose 50% speed of the bullet, but 50% of the speed of the bullet maybe doesn't matter. But this is sort of the price we gotta pay. Uh, triple biomass. Oh, we gotta murder everything right now. Power up chance 400%. I think no, we're not going to rely on random power-ups, we're going to rely on upgrades. Uh, we can't currently afford anything, so we're going to save our money. The triple biomass, if we had found that a little earlier on, that would have given us a lot more upgrade points. But for now, we're just going to continue to murder everything everywhere. Starting to get a big boy, there's a big pink one. Hopefully that can get us an SMG or something. We definitely need to uh, evolve this gun. The flower thing can survive a shot for sure. We're going to try and combine for you guys. Mucus membrane shrinks the area. I'm not sure what that means. It's detrimental, but we'll take it. I don't think I want a bomb, but a submachine gun we'll take, especially because we got uh, good upgrades for that. And I feel like we need a higher fire rate anyway. So that we'll still hold out for higher fire rate because I know we knocked that down. Okay, that's the new membrane thing. Uh, we're now firing a scout rifle. So we're firing faster. Oh, wow. What is this? What have I done? Oh, oh, I can't survive this. What, what, what's happening? Why, why are we, why is it so hard suddenly? Yeah, I feel like we jumped up 10 levels. Okay, we're okay now, but we're almost dead. And like, we're, we're actually dead. And I don't know why. That was terrifying and emphasizes the need for health. Uh, plus eight health after each wave survive will take you a hit. So if we happen to survive, we'll start putting our health back on. So as long as this wave isn't an absolute nightmare like the last one, we'll be okay. We need to start firing things right away and it looks like we're off to a tough start. Okay, these guys aren't so bad. They'll die. They don't really cause me a lot of issues. That guy might. That almost touched me because I'm not paying attention. That one hit me. So we just need to get lucky and figure out what we want to combine with our pistol. The pistol is effective, but obviously we're going to uh, evolve that many times. Stage one, we're just trying to kill absolutely everything so we get as much biomass as possible for as many upgrades as possible right away. We gotta be rich. Uh, there's two submachine guns. We'll definitely take one of those right away, especially because it's free. We might lock down one more submachine gun because I feel like we're going to need fire rate. So our pistols turned into a scout rifle. So it fires like a semi-automatic. It fires pretty accurately, pretty quickly with plenty of damage so far. So I'm okay with this. We're going to shoot the hilariously shaped thing and keep on murdering everything. We did not kill a lot of pink things there. So I don't know if we're going to get submachine gun up. Never mind. We're getting submachine gun upgrades. All right. Well, I'm not going to say no to those. It's going to cost $10 just to unlock one of those slots. But then we're still waiting. Things are so expensive. At least just it does give me a chance to learn about shapes. Definitely getting some difficult things, but we're doing enough damage we can still one-shot things. Running a risk of overheating, gotta remember to cool down once in a while. Okay, we're gonna try and get both of those. Missed. These blue things are the worst. They're gonna be my biggest problem ever. And the problem is we kill them first, so we tend to get mostly blue upgrades, which we don't really want. But I'm gonna add, I think another submachine gun, just because we need to be sure to have that fire rate, so we get burst rifle. Fires small projectiles and three shot bursts. Burn is kind of tempting, but I think with our damage, we're just going to want instant damage. So I'm going to lock a shotgun down for now. 
And we're going to see how this guy goes. One, two, three. Wildly inaccurate shots. Well, they go somewhat in the right direction. And uh, this way actually is kind of good because even if I miss, I'll probably still hit on accident. Combining this with a shotgun could be interesting. This one's also nice too because I fire and then the cooldown tends to cool down right away. So I can fire this sort of at free will. We got shotgun upgrades, or we could also add another projectile to that. We'd lose some range. We're going to have this spot open for a shotgun, and we're just going to uh, save up for it. I do like this burst rifle, because one of the three shots almost always lands on whatever I'm aiming at. And that's a nice change, because I miss a lot of shots. In theory, I guess if I have every type of gun, I can have every type of upgrade available to me. Okay, we're going to make the microbes bigger. They'll be easier to hit and without 25% more health, which we'll deal with. So we're going to add the shotgun now. So we got a frost thrower, which isn't what I expected to have. A focused blue tinted spout of intense fire with increased range, reduced spread compared to flamethrower. Okay, a frost thrower. So we already have a tier four weapon. Oh, I'm going to like this. Actually, I can already tell. As long as it doesn't overheat super quick, this is actually going to keep me nice and safe. We've stumbled into a very good evolution. Uh, even when we hit things, uh, they get like frozen. It's kind of like burn damage, but the frosty version. So we only have to hit them a few times and then they slowly die a horrible death. The only thing we can afford is extra accuracy. We don't need that. Fire rate 30% is kind of interesting. We could fire this in quicker. So I'm actually going to lock that down and then rate is going to continue on for now. I feel like I need to go a little bit more with this to see what its drawbacks are so far. Because we're obviously very committed to whatever this thing is. And it seems to be working wonders so far. I hit things once and they die. And I seem to be able to fire it quite a bit before it overheats actually. So we can actually get a lot of damage going out uh, in all directions. So that's good. Maybe a little bit more on the uh, cooling aspect if we can. That way we can really get firing. Uh, okay, fire rate 30% to weapons with this, which is us. That doesn't even use up one of our slots up top. I'm going to re-roll just to see if we get something. We can get more projectiles but less fire rate. Kind of works against us. Uh, our fire rate's perfectly fine anyway, like our DPS I feel is really good. We just need to make sure we're not overheating and taking care of enough idiots and their projectiles along the way. The shots do kind of flutter out, which is good and bad, but anything getting close will be evaporated. Anything further out will probably be accidentally shot, and accidental murders are the best kind. I don't know what bounce is, but I feel like it's probably good. Heat max plus 50% is also going to be great for us. I'm going to lock that down, but I want to try bounce and extended range. I hope bounce means it goes from one enemy to the next, because then we can really get some good AoE going. Oh, it bounced off the edge. That's actually good, because now I uh, have to aim even less. The shots will uh, bounce back at their backside. Like, I just accidentally killed an, ac an absolutely enormous thing just because the shot still happened to be over there. So, heat max plus 50%, that's huge. An extra size and range would also probably be good because the further they can bounce, the further they can bounce back. So, I'm going to unlock the next slot and we're maybe going to do that one. So, that's going to work out well for us. We can fire a lot of shots out. And these are only going to get bigger. These could be absolutely enormous. It seems like the further they travel, the bigger they get too. So, the longer they live for, the more chance they have of hurting things. Oversized microbe chance 200%, that's fine. And then there we're going we're gonna to take extra size and range. We could also increase our bounce range 50%. Uh, that upgrade's clearly going to appear a lot, so we're not going to worry about that. But for now, yeah, that thing comes halfway back. So I guess that also means if we don't kill things in one hit, the shot goes like twice, bounces back into them. Except for ones like this that are too horizontally slippery. But that's a new one. I just really love how I uh, accidentally created whatever this is because it just really, really works. Uh, I think I'm actually going to get this. It's going to add another projectile, so we'll shoot two. We'll lose some range, but there's a lot of range upgrades for this anyway. So we'll go ahead and clear some space for it. Because imagine this with double shot, like it already fires quickly. Firing two extra shots would be melting everything. Again, we'll lose range, but we'll put that range on quite easily. We just got triple fire rate, so uh, things are <laughs> going to be especially dead. Uh, the wave's already ending, and uh, here you go. Whatever that thing is. Wow, that thing's huge. There's some new, like, penetrating things coming at me. Uh, that one froze there. I think that's naturally what they do. Fire rate plus 30% is also big. But so is damage and range, which we're going to need to put back on. For now, I want the extra projectiles. That's going there, and then we're going to lock the extra damage. Oh, we can actually almost afford that. Uh, so damage and range will come next. For now, we're firing two shots at once. Double damage. We did lose some range, but the shots are still bouncing back off the edge a little bit, and that's still fine. The big slow things on the edge are going to get double-hitted, and they need to, because like this, that's got extra health. There we go, melted. This is just one of those spray and praise. Just fire in any direction, watch good things happen. Okay, damage and range 20%. Right back to work, more damage now. It's hard to really know what I should be upgrading, because whatever we're doing is just working so well, everything just evaporates. 
let's try this one. Their health is going up 15% and their weight's going up 400%. We don't use knockback anyway. But we got two more weapon upgrades and one more other thing upgrade. But those last two are going to make quite a difference. We could also potentially get a third projectile because then we'd be getting three stacks of uh, frost or whatever we're doing on the enemies. Whatever it is really hurts them. And luckily we got lots of heat shield so we can just spray around and let that thing go back down. Then when things get close, spray again. Nothing's going to get close to us for a while. There's also a pierce, but I'm pretty sure a gun comes with a piercing. There's also extra projectiles. We could actually double our projectiles. We'd lose fire rate though. Would that be worth it? We're going to lock that down while we think about that. Because then our last upgrade would have to go to um, increasing our fire rate again. To fire four shots out, I don't know if that's to our benefit or not. We're fighting all sorts of new things as well. Okay, that's going to get annoying. I think firing four projectiles out would also keep us a little safer. Like it, it shoots a broader uh, cone. But I don't think it's going to matter. Like, we're just melting everything anyway. Nothing has any chance. So here's what we can do. We can go 30% uh, more fire rate. That's going to go there. And then next, we're going to uh, lose 20% on top of that. But we're going to get 200% projectiles. So we just need to use that spot, which is now open. We just need 35 points. But for now, we just have even more fire rate. So whatever we look at just sort of evaporates. Hopefully, we get to run into something uh, really big. Because keep in mind, these enemies are also upgraded by now. They have extra health and weight or whatever it was. Now we're starting to get a little more stuff. Uh, still not enough to worry about. I just kind of look in that direction and click and no problem anymore. Okay, this is a $35 upgrade so you know it's good. Double projectiles, we lose some fire rate. And we're also going to lock the last circle slot down here. Oh, so we could actually have 30% fire rate again if we get that. So we'll lock that for now. So not only do we have uh, that many projectiles. I'm not sure how many that is, honestly. Uh, we can also have more fire rate than we just had anyway. How many is that? It's a lot. I can't count that high. So we're just going to go ahead and fire this and pretty much look at the size of that thing. He's already dead. Of course he is. That thing's already dead. These guys are dead. That thing's dead. That thing's dead. And we'll recharge. Given what I'm seeing, I don't think I need more fire rate. So I'm not going to buy that yet. We're going to leave that slot open and see what else happens to turn up. Uh, wave 20 is about as easy as the other waves before. In fact, this might be one of the easier waves I've encountered. Simply because we're so strong at this point, it's kind of a joke. We don't really have to try at all. We just shoot this and uh, move on with our lives. That's a jet fighter. That's A-C-C-T. Uh, so that can drop all sorts of different things. That was really tough, whatever that was. So we'll be sure to fire on those as soon as we see them. Uh, but as soon as they get frosted, oh, we get triple biomass. So we definitely want to kill everything. Never mind, it's already done. I was going to buy some health there, but then I realized we really don't need to yet. I don't think things are really going to touch us very often at all. We could turn our damage up 60%. We'd lose a little bit of fire rate. That's kind of tempting. We don't need all this fire rate. I think that's going to be a good trade-off. Even if it's not, we're going to do it anyway. We don't need a lot of fire rate when you're firing this quickly. Oh, we got healing there anyway. So just all the more damage. I don't know if this is damage over time, so maybe that was a bad upgrade. Uh, it won't matter. Like, we could just get any upgrade at this point and we're going to be fine. I guess we can just skip shop now, I think. Because as long as uh, shop skip is on, then we don't need to see it because we can't. We got no more room for upgrades anyway. Whatever that was, the Telepanzer actually lingered right beside me for way too long, so I gotta be careful of that one. That one clearly can't survive a few shots. Not sure what that thing is either. Abyssian. We're finding so many fun things to kill today and learning so much about letters. Uh, we just skipped the shop, wave 25. We did actually just get hit by something, so things are sneaking closer to us. And by sneaking, I mean I'm not paying attention enough to catch everything, because I just assume I'm untouchable at this point. Whoa, okay, those are coming in quick. I can see why I got hit. We unlock the daisy turret, the most intimidating sounding of all the turrets. So as long as we're paying attention and keeping our thing relatively on cooldown, I don't think anything's going to hit us anyway. Like whatever that is, is probably already dead just on the frost effect. And those are probably dead. That thing's going to get close. That thing, that thing, that thing. Easy peasy. Wave 27. Still no sign of intelligent life, including myself. The biggest challenge now is remembering to uh, cool my thing down. So once we kill something, let that bar drop so we can go ahead and spray at the next horde of idiots. Wow, we're getting surrounded here. This is going to be fine because we're only 33% overheated. Let it cool down. Easy. Wave done. Uh, I just realized on wave 29, we lost a lot of health from something. So I'm going to turn the uh, skip shop off. That way we can... Wait, there was an auto heal option. If affordable. Okay, so now if there's healing in the shop that we need and can afford, we will buy it. I love how lazy this build is. We're going to heal ourselves. We're doing so much damage. We really have to think or aim. We just sort of... Well, we do nothing really. We just fire bullets uh, in the general direction of enemies and win. So we healed up there. This is wave 30, so it's a big one. We'll see what we have to fight against. So far, nothing special. In fact, I think it's easier than the last wave. That could probably depend a little bit on how many different things fly at us, but luck's going to factor in there quite a bit. So far, yeah, <laughs> everything's dead. We didn't put any effort in at all. I think wave 31 is where things get extra challenging, so we'll see how long this build can survive for here. 
Luckily, we do have 340 uh, whatever points. They can heal us in between rounds. So if we take a little bit of damage, we should heal right up. And we're up to 22 HP. Ooh, that was close. Uh, one of those things came flying at me almost so quick I couldn't see it. So we're probably going to get hit by those once in a while. Basically, if I take damage, it's just not my fault. I take no accountability whatsoever. My skill can't be denied. I think I just got hit by something or maybe right as we got invulnerable. So that didn't count as damage. Invulnerable feels good. Uh, we're going to actually let our thing recharge since we are invulnerable. Wave 33 is definitely getting harder, but we're getting a lot of up. Yeah, some of these things are just actually ramming right into me. I don't think I have the raw damage to get through them anymore. We have more damage over time. These things. Okay, if spraying directly into its face, we did defeat it. But that's what it takes to get through that now. They're getting way too strong. Well, this escalates quickly. We laughed all the way up to wave 31, and then four rounds later, we are kind of bogging down. So when I see those things now, uh, I'm just not even going to shoot at them. I'm just going to accept that they're going to hit me because we can focus on other things that we can defeat. Uh, we need to cool down really badly. I don't know what that thing's doing. All right. We're going to have to take a little bit of abuse here, and that's the way it goes. Wave 35. 